Welcome back. One of the biggest challenges for banks is connectivity and message flow management between numerous payment rails. Some prefer to hook up straight to the payment network, and others might go through a service bureau or other intermediaries. This adds to the complexity and makes exchanging financial messages even harder. Today, I'm going to show you how Applon Hub simplifies this tough situation. And here we go. You can see here on the menu the incoming message schemes of SEPA, Swift MT, Target 2, CBPR+. We also support the P27 Nordic payments, not visible in this demo. Actually, Applon Hub can connect to any payment trail you want. Here's where you can handle all your outgoing messages. You can see the same schemes as in the incoming menu. Let's go to Payment Components website. Here's a useful diagram I want to show you. Here on the left side, you can see the connection with the networks Swift, SEPA, etc. with automated clearing houses and with alternative channels such as correspondent banks. On the right, you can see that Applon Hub is very versatile. It can communicate with the core system in various ways, with API, with files, and NQ series. AML connection with third parties is supported as well. Connectivity to external and internal points is easy, straightforward, and configurable. So, let me show you exactly what I mean. In the configuration section, you can adjust your settings in real time with simple input fields and toggle buttons. Configuration is available for FTP connection, MQ series, SFTP, and Target 2. The application can also accommodate custom system properties per case. Applon Hub is full of useful features. For example, if there's integration through API, then you can have an overview of the incoming and outgoing API calls through the webhook logs page. I believe you're starting to have a glimpse of what Applon Hub can do for you. Thanks for watching our video, and don't forget to visit our website for more information.